Shocking, Lady Sarah strips Archie of his inheritance rights from Diana's property. I said no, Megan goes crazy with Lady Sarah's decision to remove Archie's inheritance rights from Diana's estate, limiting it only to Wales. The Spencer family disagrees with the idea of granting Princess Diana's inheritance to Archie, claiming that he is not Harry's biological son. After learning that Harry intended to leave the property to them, Lady Sarah spoke on behalf of the family to claim it. Hello, welcome to Royal Rhymes. If you are fascinated by royalty and want to stay up to date with the latest news, this is the right channel for you. So, subscribe now to not miss any episode and stay up to date with everything happening in the world of royalty. Previously, the Earl Spencer, Diana's brother, was asked to talk to Harry about his relationship with Meghan. Earl Spencer and Diana's sisters, Lady Sarah McCorkdale and Baroness Jane Fellows, did not see similarities between Meghan and Harry's late mother, as the prince hoped. They thought she would have difficulty integrating into the royal family. Harry introduced Meghan to Jane, Sarah, and his best friend, Julia Samuel, hoping they would see similarities between his vulnerable mother and his fiancée, but was disappointed when no one agreed. Diana's brother, Charles Spencer, expressed the family's discomfort with Meghan at William's request. He warned his nephew to reconsider his haste in getting married, but Harry was bitter about the advice. He later reflected that establishing Meghan's place in the family would be very difficult, one of his recurring concerns. Although Harry received about £1.5 million annually from Charles, there was a lack of money if he and Meghan were to marry. Meghan was advised to continue acting to supplement her income at that time. However, Meghan knew from her agent, Nick Collings, that her acting prospects were limited. Omid Scobie, her official biographer, explained that Meghan wanted a more meaningful career and that she could do more with her platform. She was frustrated to be close to securing her future, but nothing was officially confirmed. Why did Meghan want a more meaningful career, despite having limited acting prospects and receiving substantial financial support from Harry and Charles? Leave your opinion in the comments. In other news, it was reported that the future king, Charles III, allegedly issued a warning to disgruntled members of the royal family ahead of his coronation, putting his main plan into action. The king, who will be crowned alongside consort Queen Camilla on May 6, began the reduction of the monarchy by evicting Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from Frogmore Cottage. He has decided to end subsidized rentals for royal family members in the next five years, as he does not believe it to be a housing association for distant relatives. According to a source cited by a media outlet, Vice Admiral Sir Tony Johnston Bird, Master of the Royal Household, and Sir Michael Stevens, who is responsible for the Queen's private purse, will oversee a transition period after the coronation. There are speculations that the next target is Prince Andrew, who is being asked to move to the Royal Lodge, his current residence. The new monarchs have reportedly offered the Duke of York the keys to Frogmore. Additionally, the father of Prince William and Harry is considering reducing the number of royalty members who depend financially on the crown. Did you like the video? Leave a like and if you don't want to miss any more videos, please subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.